crap, Rachel. <laughs> I just saw a heavyweight championship battle for the ages. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, split draw. Oh my gosh. The split draw wasn't wasn't exciting, but the well, rest that was of a the let night down. was but, really exciting. Well, it was, right. I was let down by the draw the way I'm let down every time in a draw is announced. Because right, we always like, want a winner. But well, to, and with boxing, you have so much. Like, you have the whole, like, all the training they did. It's just so much to lead to a draw. Yeah, all the press conferences and all the talk, you know. But to me, the split draw for this fight made sense. And that might anger a lot of you out there. But just hear me out. What did you, did you, how did you feel about the decision itself? Um, I thought, like, it was fun. So I know when I watch a boxing fight that, um, first of all, I don't, I, I don't know how to score a fight. And I certainly don't do it, like, round by round. And I'm not, like, zeroed in on every round scoring it like its own individual fight. So I score fights holistically, which means when you get to the end of the round, end of the 12 rounds, then I, I look at the whole fight, and I'm like, I think this guy won. Okay. Um, so and I know that judges, it's very different for them. You're right. That's absolutely not the way you score yeah. a fight. So uh, I felt like they could have seen it really differently because I saw so many close rounds where yeah. I was like, I think that Fury won this. Like, I did, won this round or that round, but I knew it was a, a close round. And so depending which side of the ring you're sitting on, what you're able to see from that angle... Um, it, it all makes like a difference. I think there's an injustice in boxing often, but it doesn't come from the place that we throw shade at, right? We're quick to point out that this is a travesty, this judging controversy, but the reality is usually if you're watching the fight on Twitter um, with your friend and talking on Twitter, if you're listening to the announcers, the announcers are sitting there all talking to each other, you're not scoring the fight, you're not watching the fight. So when I watch a fight, I try to remain removed from, first of all, I don't get on Twitter because I don't want to see what other people are thinking. I'm not usually like, you know, talking about, we're not telling a story. Those guys at the ringside are telling a story, and so they can get kind of lost in their own narrative. What I saw in this fight was early in the fight particularly, there were some very, very close rounds. And I saw, and I think I said it while we were watching the fight, that Fury looks good in his boxing. But a lot of those times, he wasn't throwing that many punches. Yeah, the first round, I was like, how many punches did Fury Yeah, so even, like, I saw Steve Barhood scored the first round for Fury, and I was like, the only person that landed any kind of effective punch in that round was Deontay Wilder. Okay, so there were a lot of close rounds like that where, yeah, maybe you go this way, maybe you go that way. But to act like Tyson Fury was winning every single round through the first six rounds, to me, just points to that people don't know how to score fights. They're, they're not... They're not watching the fight. They're watching. They're seeing what they want to see. I love Tyson Fury. I wanted to see him win the fight, right? That's an amazing story. Well, but you have to throw wanna... punches and land them to win the fight. Well, you can, but there's other things to take in consideration when judges are, are scoring a fight. So you, I think you could score those rounds like for Fury as well. Oh, you you're could. At defense or you definitely yeah. could. But I'm saying okay. you also could score the for rounds Wilder. for Wilder, yeah, who was yeah. coming forward, who was landing hard punches. He bloodied. Uh, Fury's nose early in the fight, those punches were getting through, okay? If you look at the compu box or show stats, whatever you want to call them, if you want to look at the punch, Wilder threw a lot more punches and landed a little less. I think he landed he landed like 12 less or so through the course of the fight. So throwing a lot more, landing with the kind of power he did, those two knockdowns, I definitely think he deserves the split draw. Like, I think he, he did enough to at least get the draw mm -hmm. and had, you know... You could have you could have even as one judge scored the fight. It would have been seven rounds of five for Wilder. I think that's a little oh, that's a little too much. But you could have scored it that way. You'd have to go back and watch the early rounds and really pay attention to what was going on in the fight. Yeah. What a great fight, though. If we can just step away from making up stories about how this is the worst thing that's ever happened in the world, this is actually one of the better heavyweight championship fights I've seen in a long, long time. This Tyson Fury. Looked better than the Tyson Fury that beat Vladimir Klitschko. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And so for me, like, coming into this fight, um, I felt, like, pretty confident. I knew what I was going to get from Wilder, but Fury was a total wild card. Yeah. He had this long layoff. The first fight after that layoff was not 
not he did not look not good. Not look good. Fight. Looked better in the second fight. But <laughs> he did looked not better in the like second this. fight, but he didn't have a, a strong quality of opponent. So I kind of was like, well, I don't know. Is he better or was it opponent not good? Like I don't know. So he was a real wild card for me. I had no idea who I was gonna get in the ring tonight. And then, like, he comes into the ring, and not only does he look great, like, at the beginning of the fight, he maintains that throughout all 12 rounds. He clearly is in better shape than Deontay Wilder. Which is amazing, because um, Deontay Wilder is in amazing shape. Well, that goes to show you, though, that sometimes you can look like that, but looks aren't everything. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, Fury was definitely... he. For all 12 rounds to keep that defense and the head the movement, movement and the footwork, like, and for a heavyweight. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful boxer. And so from one perspective, you box that beautifully. You come back from two years off. You get off the floor in the 12th round <laughs> and you are out. From flat off your back. You like kind of deserve just... to win the fight, right? <laughs> like, like, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I think the split draw really is the best thing for everybody in that we're definitely going to get a rematch. Um, Wilder did have the two hellacious knockdowns in the fight. Yeah. I thought he fought a good fight in that he was able to land some punches, and a lot of people thought he didn't land anything, right? So he's got... He had never been in the ring with a greatest boxer no. as, as Tyson Fury, and few people have, right? Yeah. Tyson Fury is that good. So yeah. he's going to have... That experience going forward in his career, rematch or not. And then for Tyson Fury, wow, what? This is one of the most amazing performances I've ever seen in a boxing ring <laughs> by any human being coming out of any situation. I have to submit picks for people for some gambling websites, gambling.com, bookies.com, there's some other ones. And I wanted to pick Tyson Fury because I love Tyson Fury. <laughs> I love Deontay Wilder, but I love Tyson Fury. I love the story. I think that he's a better boxer. But I wasn't convinced that a man could go off, be in the depths of depression, be addicted to all the drugs and alcohol and who knows what else he was doing, and to come back and be at this peak, not only physically, but mentally. And he was both physically in impressive shape. I don't know how he got up from that knockdown. <laughs> what just an amazing, awesome, beautiful story this fight was this fight was amazing because we all knew going to the fight that if it's just pure boxing, Fury's a better boxer. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't know if Wilder could land anything at all, and he proved that he could. Yeah. We didn't know. We surely nobody, I think, thought that Fury could get up from something that right. Wilder landed hard, and he did. So I'm really excited about the, what this means for the future. To so what do you think uh, going forward? What do you think? Like, now we also have Anthony Joshua still out there, yep. but this was a draw, and not the, you know, we thought we were going to get a winner who would fight Anthony Joshua in April, but I don't know, if I'm Joshua, I'm like, let these guys have a rematch, Yeah. and I just stay and fight whoever, and get to keep most of the belts, and get and, keep all my fans, I don't and, have to take yeah. the best. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm Anthony Joshua... I can say I'm the best because I got these belts. April 13th, I ain't fighting Deontay Wilder or Tyson here because <laughs> I don't have to. Because, yeah. you know, he would be favored against probably both. He's I've seen some of the odds for potential fights, for futures on these fights. He's a slight favorite against Fury. He's a bigger favorite against Wilder. That makes sense, okay? Just yeah, the styles. Yeah. But if I was hit him, I would say forward from my fight, Dylan White or whoever else they can come up <laughs> with. And... But for Wilder and Fury, I don't know. I don't know what Fury does. He's the wild card, like you said. Yeah. I don't know what he does. Does he take the rematch with Wilder? Do they go over to the UK? I'd love that. That would be a beautiful scene in boxing. Yeah. Let's see that. But part of me thinks he goes after Anthony Joshua and says, hey, you know, and maybe, maybe because they saw that Wilder could hurt Fury, could knock him to the ground, maybe, maybe Anthony Joshua's team thinks maybe we can get to this guy and takes the fight. I don't think that's a smart move. <laughs> I would stay away from him, um, but I'm down for any of it as long as at least two out of the three get in the ring together. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? If you could make anything happen next week. In the heavyweight division? Yeah. Anything happen? Oh, I don't know. Uh, how about this? All three fighters <laughs> yeah. in a steel cage. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what I want. Okay. Well, there we go. That's what we want. <laughs> Wembley Stadium, April 13th. That's my birthday. So if you want, you guys want to vlog up there? <laughs> Y'all can all fight in a steel cage, and I would pick in that fight. I'm gonna go. <laughs>
<laughs> Clearly, Fury wins in a steel cage. Fury match. wins in he's, any. He's more skilled. Fury gotta be could have lost tonight. He could have got not got up, and he would have still won tonight, <laughs> right? Because there's only one Tyson Fury. Okay. And if you think about, it, we're all Tyson Fury. Bam! That's some real talk, y'all. What? Let's go. <laughs>